I give the floor to the representative of Palestine. Thank you, Madam Chair. I should like to, to start by thanking our Director General for the uh, very clear support that she gave to the option of a consensus resolution. I should also like to thank our chairperson for her support for this notion of consensus and for all the efforts uh, that she has had to make uh, throughout uh, this um, rather eventful session, it must be said. I should also like uh, to pay tribute to my European uh, colleagues, whether or not they voted for this text. It was a consensual uh, resolution that was presented by our European colleagues uh, in Istanbul originally, and I wanted to pay tribute to the open-mindedness and constructive approach of our European colleagues who in this event I think have made a very important contribution to uh, seeking consensus and finding a solution to problems which may be acute and difficult but which can be solved uh, through a dialogue. I would be in very bad faith if I were to say uh, that I was uh, very surprised by the reaction of the representatives of Israel. On the other hand, what I would like to emphasize is that uh, I am, I must say, perplexed. Uh, a storm arose some time ago uh, because uh, we were uh, calling for a vote for a resolution on this um, city of Jerusalem. And today we come with an open mind to seek a consensual agreement, but the consensus in turn raises a storm of indignation. None of us are naive here. We understand the reasons for this uh, anger, which in our eyes is completely unjustified. The reason is uh, that the Israeli uh, party is uh, trying to politicize religion, as was emphasized by my colleague from Jordan. This is not about religion. Rather, it is about breaches of rights given uh, the scope of the mandate, the competencies of UNESCO. To conclude, what I would like to say is that all of this is now behind us. Uh, the Arab delegations, our two uh, Palestinian and Jordanian delegations, have affirmed through the acceptance of this uh, formula, which was suggested by our European colleagues, a question of principle, namely that consensus is fundamental. And we see this as a portent of things to come. In other words, our door is open. We will continue to work on the basis of consensus. And I think it will be clear to all which is the party which is trying to politicize in very dangerous ways the issue of religion and which is the party which is trying to operate within the confines of UNESCO's mandate. Thank you, Madam Chair.